Hi there, I'm Jeff Fritz, a Senior Program Manager on the NuGet team. In this video, I'm going to talk about .NET Package Management in 2015. Today we're going to talk about why we need package management, what's in it for me, and how does it simplify working with my code in Visual Studio. We've seen many advances in how developers work with their libraries, their colleagues, and the technical community. To simplify the interactions with these tools and organizations, we've updated the NuGet Package Manager to handle these new requirements. I'll show you how to add a package, update the package, and then remove that package from a sample project. Let's get started with the why. Why is package management important? Well, package management with NuGet allows us to deliver a bundle of files that contain libraries for various versions of the .NET framework and configuration information, as well as any static resources that are needed to support that bundle. The NuGet Package Manager simplifies placement of those resources on disk, adding appropriate references to your project, and updating the package where appropriate. Additionally, packages can take dependencies on other packages. For example, I could install a package that allows me to send messages to an Azure queue using the Azure Storage package, and that package has the dependency on the Microsoft OData package. NuGet will automatically gather those dependencies and add them to my project for me. Packages can support multiple frameworks, including the .NET framework, Mono, and the new .NET Core framework. This is important for package authors because they want to be able to provide functionality targeted to different devices or different operating systems appropriately. In our Azure storage example, that package will use the network differently if it is communicating from a .NET Framework application, an ASP.NET Core application, or a Windows Phone application. Let's take a look at Visual Studio 2015 and see how we can start working with packages in an ASP.NET 5 application. Here I am inside of a brand new ASP.NET 5 application. And for this demo, I want to add that Azure Storage package to my project. I can enter the NuGet package dialog by right-clicking on my project and choosing Manage NuGet Packages. From here, I have several options to work with this dialog. I can see my list of available packages on the left initially, and then the appropriately selected packages details on the right Across the top, I can change the filter of the packages that I'm looking at. I can also choose to look at pre-release versions of packages. But in this case, I want to search for that Azure Storage Package. There it is. I can select the action that I want to take place. And then I have a version here that I can choose from any of the versions of the package that are available in the NuGet repository. I'm feeling a little conservative here, so I'm going to choose version 4.0.0. Let's show the preview window so that I can understand what changes NuGet is going to make to my project. I'll click Install. I'm presented with those changes that NuGet's going to make. I'll accept. And now I'm presented with the licenses that I need to accept. Yes. And now you can see on the bottom, in the output window, we've successfully installed the package. Great. But maybe a couple months go by and I'd like to upgrade that package and install the latest stable version. In this case, in my combo box, I can see that the latest stable version is 4.3.0. I don't want to see the preview window this time. I'm already familiar with the changes it's going to make. And I can click Upgrade. I'll accept the license, and my package is updated. We can see those results in the output window down here. Well, now if a few months go by and the requirements to my project change, I can come through and uninstall that package by just clicking the Uninstall button. And very quickly, the package has been removed from my project. Finally, I have some resources online for you if you'd like to learn more about NuGet and package management with Visual Studio. The NuGet Gallery is available online 
at www.nuget.org. We'll share news about upcoming features, information about packages we find interesting, and updates for our existing tools on our blog. You can find that at blog.nuget.org. Are you interested in checking out the NuGet source code? Or maybe you have some feedback you want to share with the team? You can visit our source code repository online at github.com slash NuGet slash home. We'll be happy to answer your questions on GitHub issues. Thanks for watching.